Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and today we are back in Minecraft for the first time in a little while. We've been focusing on Satisfactory the last couple of months since it uh, came out with the 1.0 release, but it was time to get back into the Citadel, uh, my SMP uh, that's a little over seven years old, and it was time to revisit this old project, the uh, moss farm, which you see in front of you, and the iron farm, which is new. We rebuilt this in the last I don't know, a few months, uh, end of the summer. Uh, and then we also have the collection area for the moss farm that had a little bit of a facelift. I say a little bit, it had a big facelift. Uh, it was very, very different before this. It was all encased in the rocks. Uh, and so now we're just kind of at the end of adding textures and stuff. And I was walking around, uh, kind of re-familiarizing myself with what I might want to do today. And I think really it's just going to be a matter of walking around the moss farm collection making sure we've got a couple of textures working the way that i want it's kind of ending abruptly here i'd like to move this along we have to do something with the scary stephen the third the zombie that's hidden in there maybe move them a little bit farther down uh, and also i wanted to differentiate this door from this door uh, i really like this door it matches the moss farm pretty well but then this door leads to the collection area for the iron farm which looks very different <laughs> Uh, than the green mossy and brown on the inside of this one right so I think that what I want to do is maybe take some of this design aesthetic and have this door look a little bit more like it matches uh, inside there and outside here and one of the things I think we'll start with is I like these cool kind of pipes uh, but we don't have one here and I think maybe what we can do is, is add a pipe and then maybe have the pipe go like up and over the door. I think that could be kind of cool. So that's the plan. Uh, big shout out and thank you to Cosmic Dancer gifting a sub to Grandpa Crafter. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Uh, that is the 12 month gift subscription that Cosmic Dancer gave to Grandpa Crafter and it's entered the seventh month. Grandpa Crafter says, thanks to Cosmic Dancer for my gift sub. 15 months, how time passes. I agree, time really flies. Uh, but thanks so much, Cosmic. And thanks for giving Cosmic a shout out, Grandpa Crafter, that's very cool. Uh, Penguin Dude, good to see you. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday, good weekend. Sweet Sandy, Cosmic Dancer, who else is here? I think I saw somebody else kicking around. But I might have missed it in the lead up. I had to re-familiarize myself with all the controls on on my OBS for um, for Minecraft and I haven't quite yet updated the um, the OBS settings. Something that's really missing from OBS, by the way, for people that do any streaming, I would very much like to be able to copy a scene from one profile to another profile and they don't let you do it. It's not possible. I, there might be some sort of export that you have to do, but like it's just, it's not great. And you'd think it would be very straightforward. So I have to do for the face cam stuff, brand new layout. I have to redesign everything uh, in order to do a full face cam scene in my Minecraft profile. I think the reason is that most streamers don't have different profiles per game. They just have the one profile that they stream from, maybe two or like a podcast or something. Um, so that's that's what I think the reason is, but it's, it seems like a very straightforward and popular thing, something that people would want to have, right? Uh, so we have our little workroom back here. I'm going to turn off my uh, shaders here. Uh, we have our little workroom. And I think I just need to get some... I think we'll start with copper and acacia. None of these are waxed. Do I have acacia here? Do. Need some trapdoors. Probably going to need more of those. And I guess I got to look around. Maybe some buttons. I need to look and see what I need for these things. There's the. Oh, it's copper trapdoors. 
You're right. Copper trap doors. That's really it. I didn't really do much with buttons, did I? Okay. Thought I did. Oh, maybe it's up. Yeah, I think I did buttons up top. That's fine. I don't think I'll need any glass. We'll have to see. Um, so I don't need those kind of trapdoors. I need these kind of trapdoors. Okay, and probably some stone and site slabs and stones and stairs and things because of what the wall is made of. Match that up and that's probably it for now. I don't know what we're gonna do for doors. I don't want them to be brown doors. Could we do I guess we do copper doors? They have the holes in them. Acacia doors have holes. Jungle doors might work. So might mangrove. Not sure what setup you need to do to have stickers active with OBS, but just why I don't think they're active in the scenes you have for Minecraft. Ah, that's another thing that I probably could not get sorted um, because again, the copy and paste. Did you try a sticker? Um, let me see if I can sort that out. Settings. Drag and drop this button into your OBS scene. It doesn't work. There was a way. Just add a browser source usually. Whoop. Don't want that to be there just yet. And I just need to find where it tells me my settings. It should be active on stream. Can you see the option to do a sticker? Because that should be my, the, um, whatchamacallit. Why is it not allowing me to have? Yeah, that's bizarre. Hmm. So the stream sticker settings are not giving me my URL. 
which is all you need for your browser source, but it's not. Not doing it. Uh, one thing I can do, which will be weird. Don't know if I can change scene collections while I'm live. I might be able to do that. It's weird that they, you have to say that you use something else. In order to get the browser overlay, that's weird. Uh, I'll just try one and see what's up. These are not the droids we are looking for. Did that work for everybody? It's really large. It's a big sticker. Cool. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Appreciate the feedback. Uh, so that worked. So that means that there should be, um, there should be, there should still be stickers. Like the Cosmic, did you try to send a sticker? Because it didn't show up in my activity feed where it should have, right? Do you, do you need me to refund you some bits? I didn't get that notification either. And there was nothing in chat. Oh, the technical glitches when you switch things around behind the scenes. It may not give me the option because... Yeah, if you click on, if you click on the video... I uh, wouldn't let you because it didn't have them active. Okay. So if you click on the video, you should see a little heart. Um, comes out right over my camera. That should work now. Thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Sorry about that. That should have been tested before the stream. Okay, so uh, this comes out of that on the right-hand side. This one is on the left-hand side, but it's on the side there. I think what I want to do is I want to have it in the ground. I want to say here is probably going to be the best way to do it. Oh, we will need some glass. All this because Cosmic just wanted to make a joke that this new satisfactory update had taken a very blocky turn. <laughs> Why does it have an echo? That's really strange. He's never had an echo before. Is that new? Thanks very much for the sticker, Cosmic. <laughs> I don't remember that from... from Satisfactory, but Satisfactory might have enough background noise. That you don't hear the echo? You didn't hear an echo. Oh, interesting. I've closed my other window. I had... Um, a browser window open at some point of my stream but i've closed it so that shouldn't be a thing anymore oh you know what it is i bet you i'm hearing i bet you i'm hearing like a double monitor um control audio via obs
and yes, there is the stream stickers. So we'll find out if another one happens, if I can hear it or not. We'll see. Yeah, it's probably an, another sketchy OBS setting. I need more glass. So these are going to have glass in them. Why are you here? And I have to decide which one we're going to start the little pipe thing on. Kind of like the idea of having it in the middle. Maybe right here. But what I want to do is have that go down. that and maybe we'll have another one here hmm This feels like it should maybe be connected. And maybe we'll move this one. sort of have like a set of rules like when it goes down you change it to be oh no broke it there okay so maybe we can we can attach it here I don't know if that's overkill. Maybe we don't do that one. Yeah. That might be a good spot for a button. Can we do, we don't have, do we have bronze buttons? I imagine it's just a block. Not bronze, copper.
I guess we can use acacia. Hmm, maybe not. Cosmic says you'll never like the noise that honey makes in the game. Yeah, it's not my favorite either. I feel like for making this a little bit different, we might want to go a little higher. It's a very squishy, it's a very squishy sound. I think we can make this even more interesting by maybe backing this up a bit. That's a little bit better. Don't know if I want to keep that. Maybe we have to move that one. Alice the Amazon raiding with a party of four. Hey, hi, howdy. Hello, welcome in. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, the river cat. Hello, welcome in. Grimdian. Hello, hello. Tamaz and Alice the Amazon. Hello, what were you up to on stream? First time chat and first time raider. Welcome in. I really appreciate you sending over your viewers. What, uh, what was going on on stream today? We are uh, currently fixing up uh, some decoration around an iron farm. You can hear the face melting of the iron golem inside and we're trying to re redesign the door to the storage this is what we're doing currently it's dark i'm gonna go ahead and assume minecraft uh if you're not familiar folks coming in with that raid uh my name is joel duggan and i stream and podcast full time you might recognize my voice from the spawn chunks podcast that i do with pixel riffs and of course, I am playing on the Citadel here for the last seven years. Now, uh, this is the first time we've been back on the Citadel in a couple of months because we've been playing a lot of Satisfactory. Um, but uh, Minecraft and Satisfactory are definitely in the rotation here on the server. Good to see you, Kay. Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, right. So this is where decisions have to be made as to what doors we use. Ooh, I forgot that they had the dark. I think I might have put them in the wrong spot. Cool sound. I like that. Now, I was hoping to make this a little bit different. We have the cave structure in here that I don't want to mess with too much. Yeah, 
Those are just not not really working for me. So I was hoping to change the shape of this, but I'm not really sure that we can. I guess we could make it higher. Man, I've been streaming for, what, 30 minutes? Granted, we had a bit of a technical glitch at the start, and my inventory is already full. <laughs> Just, why? <laughs> why does it always happen so fast? So if we do that, how do we, I guess, design the rest of this? Oh. I really like the copper sounds for the doors. Talking about sounds we actually like. I'm going to run out of honeycomb soon. I don't remember. Can you break? You can't break those down, can you? Um... Maybe it's a data pack I need to add. Yes. Mental note, add data pack that you can break down honey blocks and honeycomb again. Um, I don't need the grass. Got started on a kelp farm, says Alice, but got super distracted with random other stuff. And it was fun wandering uh, with the whimsy in the latter part of the stream. That's awesome. Uh, that's great. I'm glad you had a good time. Um, yeah, we're working on designing the, the door to the storage system for the iron farm today. That's what we're up to. Um, folks in my channel, if you haven't already, go check out uh, Alice the Amazon on Twitch. Also Minecraft player. Sounds like a pretty chill experience. And some common people across the community. So I'm sure that like minds Minecraft alike. Sometimes it's fun to pick blocks that sound cool on the design block palette later. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Especially if you're like walking over them. I feel like that would be that would be something. Now I don't know about this section. I don't think I want to leave that open. Like I don't think I want a window there. I think those are going to have to be switched to acacia, right? That or another kind of pressure plate. Blackstone. Stone. It's either going to be acacia or... Maybe iron? Or maybe stone. Ooh. I think probably stone. I feel like black stone is going to... It's gonna be too dark. We even have blackstone. I wish we could make deep slate pressure plates. That would be nice. I don't think I have any blackstone. Not here. I mean, I have it. It would be too purple, I think, anyway. Cherry? I think the cherry would clash. Well, you know what? I guess we'll go with the orange. This is not a super realistic looking build anyway. Mm -mm. So 
Something I keep on forgetting is that there's a hunger bar. We don't have that in Satisfactory, and I don't miss it. I don't miss it. Whoops. Oh, come on. That looks a little bit better. And how do we want to do this? Maybe this is where we do trapdoors from Acacia. Nope. Just like that. Maybe I could do Acacia Stairs. Very loud. Like, it's satisfying, but it's very loud. I'm trying to think about a way I could maybe layer stuff. I don't think I can, though. Where do I keep my true lights or those? So we've got these kind of like in the background. And so this might be a good way to mm, I don't know. Too many trap doors, I think. And I may want to add some depth up here. And I'm not a big fan of these hovering over the doors. Very clangy. I don't know, I guess because you can see the purple through the door windows, I might as well see it through the other windows too. Dalaman Dam, welcome in. We'll go with that. Try not to be too precious about it. I 
inside, though. Yeah, it's fine. Hint of purple. Now, how to make this feel a little bit nicer. I guess we could... I guess that sort of feels like it's connected. Just not a fan of that. Looks okay out here because of the depth. almost want to have it come out a little bit more. I wonder if I could change this. Not really. Looks good from the outside. I think you just have to put the the um, block back on the inside. Kind of faking it, but I'm fine with that. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't really work, does it? Maybe what we need is something to go off to the side here. Things kind of go underneath all the time. Maybe we could have that come out this way too. Although that's going to block the light. Maybe I do that underneath it. So we don't lose the shroom light. Gonna drop some uh, doggos post stream. No worries, Alice. Thanks very much for the raid again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Joel tries to not get precious about it, continues to get precious about it. Hey, you know what? I'm nothing if not consistent. A lot of tangents here I'm not a fan of.
See, this feels a little repetitive here. So I want it to have a different direction. So maybe we don't connect these up. Just not enough room. Really haven't looked the way that I want. Maybe we'll just make it go straight, I guess. I wonder if this one would look better coming from the other direction, maybe. It also feels like it cuts this path off. This feels like a border. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Same premise of it being pulled in from the, the source here, but just a little, little different. Could also have maybe a light here. Nothing back there. That could be kind of fun. because I had lanterns on there and I sort of covered up the lantern in here. I guess we could um, remove that. Get rid of that. Put glass back in there. So that the light comes back and then that light stays the same. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Roost boy, hello, hello. Thanks for the lurk. Blast, well, Jordan. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. And Matt B. All kinds of fun regulars in chat. So I guess the next thing after tackling that is um, making sure that we can make this look cool. We do have some things we have to cover up, but we can use some stairs, I think. Make this a little bit more. 
natural looking, I guess. A lot of times it's just about shaving off the tops of things, making them feel a little bit more natural. Although this feels strange. This, unfortunately, we really can't do much. Maybe a little andesite. Same here, we could add a little andesite in these ones. As long as it looks good from inside. Yeah, not the end of the world. We can also switch this out for andesite as well. I find it's usually a good method of of doing this kind of stuff is, is doing the form first. And then you can always just change the texture later as you need to. Makes sense. And then out here we can just pop up there and kind of smooth it out if I can make the jump. Annoyingly, Blast Jordan is cutting down tons of oak trees for reasons. Oh, I don't know what that was. Slab maybe? We'll leave that. Um, I'll put a andesite stair on top instead. Looks right to me. I might pull it to the left as well. Doesn't matter on the inside. I like those. Oops.
Yeah, that works. Honestly, we could probably make this whole thing andesite here. Help it stand out a little bit more. Oops. Cool. I say that's working. Now on this side, I think a lot of this is open to the inside or at least needs to cover up some stuff. Yeah, so that has to go there. And I think this is also, yeah. Well, we can do a stair going the other way. And really just some of that has to get changed to andesite. Grumpa1974, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Mm -mm. Yeah, so this stuff has to be... Oh, out of insight. Never fails. When you get up on something, you have to then change or get blocks. This is Claptrap with a message from Cosmic. I'm just going to skip the three pages of Make Everything Pink and read the last sentence. Time for a break. I feel like this can probably just go straight up into this. Inventory is full. Surprise. Break time when you're ready. Thank you, Cosmic. Good timing, because I think it's nighttime out there, so. I will just chill. Actually, because I don't want anything to, to spawn, I'm going to chill in the nether. Could dump some of my stuff anyway. So I feel like we've got too much stone. Cool. Uh, folks, I take a break about once an hour. 
Uh, gives me a chance to grab some more coffee. You should grab a snack. Maybe tell a friend we're streaming. I will be right back.
So I think the issue with the stickers is that I have it set to have OBS monitor them from sound and stream stickers are set to and monitor off monitor and output try that now the good news about stream stickers is that I can actually re replay ones that have already been sent uh This is Claptrap with a message from Cosmic. I'm just going to skip the three pages of Make Everything Pink and read the last sentence. Time for a break. <laughs> nice. I know there's no break time now, uh, but that makes sense. Um, so I can hear that, but I'm still getting an echo. Are you folks getting an echo? I'm going to try that one more time and see if I get an echo. This is Claptrap with a message from Cosmic. I'm yeah. just going to skip the three pages of Make Everything Pink and read the last sentence. Time for a break. Don't know why I'm hearing that twice. Raid OBS Streamlab. I wonder if the stream stickers... You can hear it, but much softer. So yeah, it's playing double somewhere. I don't know where. Somewhere it was playing twice. Let me just see if I can. I'll play it one more time. Sorry for the repeats. I'm just... This is Claptrap with a message from Cosmic. I'm just going to skip the three pages of Make Everything Pink and read the last sentence. Penguin, do you hear an echo? Huh. That's weird. I really don't know because that didn't happen on. It didn't happen on satisfactory stickers. Hmm. What's another one that I can try? Uh, one that we haven't. This is a fun one. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. Yeah, there is definitely an echo on that one. Am I monitoring something in OBS? I try not to. You can control the audio via OBS in the sticker controls. But when I do that, um, we had the echo, but I've removed that. So now we're not monitoring the stream. It's just, it's just the OBS stream. Um, and I need to have that on monitor and output so I can hear things like... Um, Transitions between scenes and that kind of thing. Borderlands alerts. Yeah, I don't know. I will have to play with it later. Yay. I really find this kind of stuff very frustrating when, like, you've not changed any settings, you know? I don't know why it would echo in the Minecraft thing versus... And this is why I wanted to copy and paste from from my other setup, right? So that I could make sure everything was exactly the same. So I'm going to say that we're good there. I think the only thing I need to do now is just... 
um, maybe work out this path a little bit. And I think the only thing I've done in other places is just use some some oak planks. This is old school. So I don't want to deviate too much. Yeah. I guess I could make it stone, but that wouldn't be as cool looking. Everything in here look okay? Yep. Lots of iron. I don't think I have a random box, do I? I would say that's probably it. Keep all the stone stuff on me. Dark oak. I don't I don't think there's anything else that really looks good with path block is there maybe something from there I don't want to end up redoing the whole path right Maybe we need some stripped um, oak. I don't have any regular oak. Yeah, if you change it from from path block. I like having a little bit on the sides, maybe. We didn't have stripped wood back when we built this original path. This is the old part of the server. For sure. Maybe we can get away with the darker stuff down there.
doesn't quite have the same vibe. Yeah, so you get spots like this and you really think that this has to be something else entirely. I don't mind that. A little bit of a texture change. Helps smooth out. Oh, can't go up there though. It's not bad. I feel like I'm missing a little bit over here, maybe. Feels a little bit too too dark. Tomorrow is your six year anniversary on the Citadel. That's awesome, Cosmic. Very cool. Sending the Stan. Welcome in. Uh, is this the industrial area? Um, I don't know about industrial. This is just the, the spawn area for the server where we're doing the, we're doing the mine, the, um, iron farm. I feel like maybe this needs to push out a little bit. I think that's okay. And this is where things snake and get really tricky if you don't watch yourself. Hmm. 
Now, I don't know how lit this is, so we may have to work out a light somewhere. Maybe here. They're pretty simple. Probably there. My guess. had a dark oak fence and it had stairs I think that was it and a torch do I have a torch I think that helps kind of mark there's a path going down this way. So really, it's just a matter of um, probably working on the mossy bits here and getting that sorted. I think I'm going to turn this whole thing into tough. And of course, we've got to move the zombie, the zombie that's in here. I guess we'll just move him. Well, I guess it's not like I have to move him. I just have to move the sign. I guess I could put uh, the coordinates of him. That could be easy. What are we looking at? Maybe not have that up on the screen. Maybe not. So that's negative 39, 37, and 302. Negative 37, 302, 70. I'll just move that. I'm very much looking forward to cleaning this place up. I guess I'll keep all these. I'm probably going to need them. Don't need the arrow. And now I need tough things. Mossy things. And that should be it.
Oh, I guess I should move the sign first. Uh, let's go with an orange sign just because it's more thematic. And we'll just put that right here. Do I have any longer term plans with what I want to do in Minecraft? Um, just things like beating the Ender Dragon and updating all of those points. Those, um, whatchamacallit, um, end gateways and then never having to worry about the dragon again and do something cool in the end. That could be a fun long term project. Uh, back up. Scary Steven. Done. So with this, I think this is all going to be turned into, uh, or a lot of it's going to be turned into um, tough. And then we'll work in some other mossy bits in there as well. I don't really know what to do about this. I guess we can just get rid of it. Oh no, don't die. Did you die? You did not die. Good. That's good to know. Was always time to move and pack up Scary C for it? Nope. If he had died, that would have been it. That would have been someone else's responsibility. I'm done trying to wrangle zombies. There's a certain number of things in this game that I just find tedious, but because we play survival, you just kind of have to deal with it, you know?
that's not bad. And then I think we can probably take this up in the other direction as well. And then we can make this a little bit more interesting as we're trying to cone this down. Glad I kept the uh, other stone bits here. Then that means, see this whole thing is probably gonna be better off as tough. It was definitely a half thought the last time that I logged in. This is feeling very plain here. Much better. Probably substitute some tough in here as well, as long as this is not inside, which it is not. Good, good. One of these is Scary Steve's bed. Nope, not that one. I think it's that one. That's what moss carpet is for. You know, it's funny, after spending so much time in Satisfactory, you kind of forget just how much like painting Minecraft is. We're also in a weird biome here, so the greens don't really match.
feels pretty good. Maybe a little bit more mossy cobble up in that corner. Oops. And then this is very stair-like, so we'll have to move this around a little bit. Better. Now, if I can grab some um, vines, we should be good. I wonder if I should maybe change, change this as well. Hmm. Maybe I'll just add some moss on it. One little bit. Famous last words. Yeah, I kind of wanted to transition into the stone a little bit. Cool. Penguin Dude, I've been playing too much Satisfactory. I need to change the throw button in Minecraft to stop throwing hotbar items I keep wanting to sort of my inventory. Yeah, I, um, what do I have for my throw button? I think it's V. Yeah. Yeah, I I did what I did with Satisfactory is that because I was, you know, going into it as such a heavy Minecraft player, I changed all of my hotkeys in Satisfactory to match um, Minecraft. I, I do that in most games. Like I sprint, I like Alt as a sprint button. I can just tap it with my thumb. And then WASD are the same. Um, I think C for me is Zoom. Yeah. So, and that's a mod. Um, but yeah, I try to keep it, I try to keep it um, consistent across the games. It, it, it lessens the, the amount of stuff like that that you have to deal with. The muscle memory freakouts, you know? Okay, I think that's enough fiddling there. This just is bugging me, though. Sure. Just in time for the rain. Okay, I think that's it. I'm, I'm done messing around in this area. I don't want to get into too much landscaping because it's just, it's one of those perpetual, you know, like you're in an old part of the server and if you start to change the way that you landscaped stuff seven years ago, then you're just going to end up going down this rabbit hole of like never being done. So I don't want to do that. I'm really not crazy about that sign being there still. Um, maybe we'll, maybe we'll move it over to here. What would be a good... If I was to kind of make that look like it was part of the rock, what would be a good way to do that? OK, 
keep those. I'm probably going to need them. Uh, there's no gray signs, really. I feel like a spruce sign might be better. Or a hanging sign. Yeah, nothing really blends in with the rocks, does it? Spruce would probably be the better one. Or... Acacia. Elkhorn! Hanging sign? Yeah, I think a hanging spruce sign. I hear you, zombie, somewhere. So maybe we could do like a little sort of memorial type thing here. So this is years and years and years ago on the server, MacCast got blown up by a creeper. Uh, and then ultimately it lit the, um, it lit the uh, old farm on, on fire. So I like that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll um, change the change it into stone, like stone bricks or something. Yeah. Oh, old sign. Can't edit it. Memory of those whom we lost in the Great Fire of February 2018. Wow. This is going to be uh, a shorter sign. I guess before I do that, I should decide whether I want an orange sign or a, or a spruce sign. I like the hanging sign, I think. I think we go orange. Why not? That's the that's the E key. That's the satisfactory muscle memory kicking in. Uh, those lost in fire of those lost in flame. Uh, February twenty eighteen. I don't really care for this fact that there's a sign, but um, I think Alistair was the one that put it in, so. Yeah, and then I think maybe we'll just do like bricks. And maybe an andesite.
Maybe we'll go a little bit fancier. New recipes. Jeez. Just curious enough to get people over to look at it, I guess. Still not filling up the suck and shulker box. I know we're close. Well, maybe not super close. Well, six more stacks. real question is how am I going to get all this stuff back? I don't know that I can carry it all. So now we just have to repopulate that. Don't remember which ones go in there. Certainly the redstone does. That does. Glass does. Copper goes in there. I think I've got everything but one that goes in there. Iron. Two more. Which ones go in there? Dig box goes in there. Really, I don't remember. Must be one in here, maybe. No. Hmm. I don't remember what else was in here. Oh, terracotta. Definitely one. Thought I had... One more concrete, definitely. There's something in here that doesn't normally go. This might be the wrong, no, that's the right terracotta box. Some of these are just old. I don't think that goes in there. I should be able to carry everything. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to see. Some of this might have to get loaded up in here. Got tools. I do have too much stuff, I agree. Uh, before I head out, though, I'm going to go to the nether and I'm going to repair... Some stuff. Well, really just my pickaxe and that's it. This can stay here. I don't think I need anything. I think that one pickaxe is not something that I can fix. No. Bring that just in case. Because it's just about time for another break. And then I can come back here and clean up this mess. Okay. 
it's wild, you know, when you're not on a server for a couple of months and yet you still remember where everything is. Including the floor. They were full. I really wish this is this never used to be this hard to get up into. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna put I guess that there. Cool. I'm going to grab a break, folks. I will be back in five or six minutes. We're going to repair things while I'm gone. I will be right back.
Hey, it looks like things are all repaired. Good stuff. Thank you, Cosmic. And a subscription while I was on break. MDog95, 39 months. Wow. Coming up on the big 4-0. That's amazing. Thank you so much. How did I get set on fire? Do, 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 do. We don't have any fuel. So all that's filled up. Okay. Do I have fuel on me I can put in here temporarily? Maybe. Uh, yes, I do. Way. What little gold I got while I was here, we can take. I am not waiting for all of those to smelt. That will be my gift for somebody else. my personality it's on fire wow wow how long have you been waiting to use that one cosmic <laughs> i don't remember the nether being this foggy i feel like my render distance used to be better Now we can dump some stuff in storage, but I'm pretty sure most of this I can get, I can come back with. There's one, this bin here. I should probably lighten that before I take it back. And everything else I think we're good. Uh, that's another one. Uh, Okay, most of this is going to get moved anyway. Seven years? Wow. Long time to wait on a joke. Long time. I feel like this is still in here somewhere. There's some diorite. Just to kind of quickly keep it organized. Green concrete, that's a lot of green concrete. This stuff I can work out later. Assuming this is all from digging out the um, construction area. like I can handle that. I'm a digital pack rat. I intend to never throw anything away. I mean, it serves you well if you're going to be long-term on a server. If you're doing short-term stuff and you know you're not going to need something, then fine. But I find that for me, I definitely want most of this stuff. So uh, this is full. We do have to take that with us. Uh, or at least I have to have another one. Don't know if I do. Uh, 
surely I have another one back in West Hill. We are about to find out if I can take this all in one trip. With one block to spare. Uh, I feel like a gray bed would be better off here. That seems like a weird place to put it. Just in case something bad happens. Cool. Well, I think that's a decent change back here. Looks a little bit more intentional. We've got some nice textures happening here from the ground level. Everything in there looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Don't quite know what it looks like at night, but that's fine. Take the long way back. We'll go back into the nether, but we'll go the other way. Oh, I guess I could get rid of this too. I don't have the space to take that down, do I? I guess I need my iron box. Are you keeping the poppies? Uh, all that stuff is for whoever wants it. There's poppies here, but then there's also um, lots of spare stuff out here that I was testing. And there's lots of extra dye back here too. And then there's like maintenance stuff. Like if a creeper explodes or anything, there's all kinds of blocks that are relevant. Let's grab the iron box. Oh, that might not be the easiest. We'll have to use, I've got some spare room in here for the beacon yeah go for it go for it it's cosmic take the poppies if you want uh probably just better to put it in here i should take this down from the bottom up be a lot faster This is another tedious thing in Minecraft. Really ugly blocks that take forever to mine. Don't miss the slow days. Um, I was talking on the spawn chunks, and I think I've mentioned it a couple times on stream. That when I was coming back to Minecraft, I was thinking about using uh, the create mod and going through uh, and doing some technical stuff in Minecraft for a change. And after doing a bunch of research into the different mods I might need, the fact that I'd have to re I have to install a different version of Minecraft, probably have a different loader, I'd have to create a whole new stream setup on OBS for it to get it to work. I just decided, you know what? I don't think it's worth the hassle. I'm not going to play it very much or very long and after doing a little bit of research into create and the things that you need to get going it just really felt like an early game grind I just didn't want to participate in so uh, I found you know just coming back to Minecraft one of the things that I wanted to do to we'll say get myself in the mood for it was like hit the ground running and not really have to worry too much about um, that kind of stuff. And so I think it was a good decision to come back to the Citadel as opposed to trying starting something new.
that will eventually grass over. So the path gets more textured as you get closer to town, but way up by spawn, it's very, very simple, which is why I didn't want to over texture it to begin with. But okay. Server decided to shoot me back. This could be fun. It's been a long time since that happened. Unlimited pink dye for cosmic. That's one of the things that's available because of that farm. 100%. Poppies come in no matter what. As long as... I don't even think somebody has to be online. It's in the spawn chunk, so it should be running all the time. so hard on an older server when there's stuff that's been built you know seven years ago or six years ago and you're like man i could really use you know some of the new blocks and new textures and even um the ability to trim vines and control them and stuff could make that old portal entrance which i think is really unique and fun uh could make it a lot more um I guess design friendly for me or or just would look a lot better but i'm really trying hard not to go back and revisit stuff so for anybody new in the chat we do have uh teleportation on the server we've got a couple command blocks because we have different areas with different themes uh they send us about ten thousand blocks and it just means places like a medieval area, like what I just sent myself to, um, will not uh, be next to skyscrapers or fantasy, you know, weird other builds that people have in mind, sci-fi areas, that kind of thing. So it keeps it all separate. But um, the entrance or the landing parts of the teleportation is not in the middle of builds it's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere so you still have to like make paths and create roads and get yourself to a point where you know it's a little bit of an adventure still to get to where you're going um with the exception think of the city the modern city you end up in the um visitor information booth which is kind of funny um but it's such a large area you still have a long ways to walk to get to different buildings so it works out for the better. And here we return to the laundry list of stuff that I have yet to do to finish this area. It is very pretty at sunset though. And this is, what, four years of building this area? All just me. I've had some server mates drop off materials, but everything has been block placed by me. And we definitely need some street lamps. <laughs> definitely darker than it should be. Let's sleep in here before we walk all the way. Feel like there's a bed in here somewhere? I hope there's a bed in here somewhere. Maybe not. Nope, I gotta go in the barn. That's fine. West Hill by day, Mob Hill by night. Yeah, that is accurate. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to didn't want to do it. We'll still likely see a couple of people on fire. Yep. Case in point. It's also very pretty at dawn. I quite like.
Man, I forgot how much work I put into this area. It's very pretty all the time. Well, thanks very much. Yeah, there's not really much in here that's unfinished. Did I just skip back again? I'm pretty sure that the server just threw me back again. That was weird. Here we are at the storage area where all the shulker boxes are supposed to go. You can hang out there. The woods. And then we've got moss, dirt, dirt, grass. Elliot bushes. go that and that oh that's just a spare shulker it looks like so that deep slate cobble deep slate salt it's the red one another one Nice. Uh, some of this stuff we should be able to put away. Gravel. Stone. I guess I can turn shaders off so I'm not dropping my frames everywhere. Now, I did not have any room in the copper box, I don't think. No. Concrete, I can put the other copper in there. Might as well keep it all together. Again, we don't always have the room for all the wood either. Oh, those are filter sticks. Extra spruce trapdoors, you don't say. It's the beacon beds. Don't remember where I put the snow. I guess it's here. Frog lights, where do I keep those? 
in the amethyst box, of course. Why wouldn't you? Weird. And there. Birch. Don't know if I have spare concrete around. Put it here for now. To make sure we've got a couple of empty shulker boxes. Keep the red ones and put the spare ones in there. Nice. So I'm trying to remember where I left off. And I'm pretty sure I was working outside the city. I think I was outside the front gate here. So I know I didn't quite finish the area up by the wall. Oh no, that's all done. That might've been one of the last things I did. Maybe it was over there. Oh yeah. An empty space over there. Let's get up a little bit higher. Right. That area needs to be done. I did this one, but I did not do that one because I don't know what the heck is going to go in there. And then we've got that other farmstead over the back. Plus there is a book with a checklist on it, but yeah, this is all very, very empty. This is going to be a, a bee farm in an apiary. But that is the unfinished blemish right now. With no real plan. Well, I think we said apiary and abandoned farm, if I remember correctly. So this isn't going to be a full building. It's just going to be like a, a broken down, maybe like half a roof kind of place that can be kind of fun actually but then i don't know what to do here if it's an empty farm then the tiers of farmland won't necessarily really have anything on it i guess we could have like some random wheat and a couple of like sprigs of stuff maybe long grass would be good some ferns that could be actually interesting to do but then yeah i don't don't know what's going to happen over there. This feels so empty. I guess it just needs a little bit of texturing and the lower tier, I think we'll probably just like fill this in with some TLC, but then I feel like there needs to be some sort of, I don't want to say statement but like there needs to be something up here to pull your attention not so much that you just get distracted from the wall but like don't know what could be here same thing with this area there needs to be something here too we could maybe put another tree there but this is a really cool view i don't want to mess with that too much Yeah, like this worked out well because it was low-lying ground. So we have like a little pond there, but I don't want to duplicate that. Like I want to come up with something new for the other side. Some market stalls make sense at that area. I don't know. It, it feels very like a defensive spot, you know? 
for the um for the wall so i don't think that would make a lot of sense plus all the market stalls are down the back right we've got a lot of the market is down this uh, this way right we've got the the market stalls over there that area there so yeah i don't know it it would feel i mean maybe on the lower part maybe i don't know i just, it would it would feel strange i think It's one of those things that I'm sure when I think of it, I'll be just like, oh, yeah, that's perfect. But, you know, it might be something that I just need to go research, you know, like I need, might need to come up with like, hey, what's a cool thing that would be outside of a medieval city, right? And then, of course, we've got the inside of the keep that's not done either. That's the other thing that needs to be sorted out. That tower and uh, no, not that tower, the other one. The forgotten inside of this big building right there that one and really the inside here is not decorated it's just kind of like a big room it doesn't really have any details so this needs to have some tlc as well yeah if we go is it this way yeah yeah, this is not this is not done in here. And then this is though. So that's good. So it's it's the main section here. I think this is done. I think that's done. I don't even remember how to get up there. Got a zombie somewhere. that's in the I think it's on the wall yeah this is it here so many different places to walk up oh yeah that's not done either there's gonna be a walk around where I'm gonna have to like do a bunch of checks you like part tour part just like quick zoom around to figure out what's what's done and what's not this is the top is done The treacherous staircase. Would not want to walk down that in real life. Sounds like he's in the kitchen. Or perhaps. Nope. No idea. Oh yeah, library doesn't have any chairs in it. All sorts of stuff. Delara, hello, hello. You have walked down a staircase like that in real life? Not good at heights, yeah. I'm okay with heights depending on what I'm standing on. All depends on what I'm standing on. Right on, folks. I think that's where I need to wrap things up for today. Um, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. I hope you will enjoy the rest of your stream day. Uh, feel free to throw some recommendations in chat if you want me to raid someone in particular. Um, it will be either that or someone on my regular list. Uh, but we will be back uh, on regular rotation. I'm still planning on playing Satisfactory more than likely during the week. Uh, satisfactory during the week tends to have a bigger draw and then minecraft on the weekends tends to also have a big draw so uh we'll be working it throughout the uh the week back and forth it really depends on my mood too like if i'm in a, in a creative groove in in minecraft then i'll probably end up playing more minecraft and obviously i need to do more projects here because i need to have something to talk about on the spawn chunks and so uh that'll be that'll be upcoming this monday with a new episode of that 
and I need to also edit the latest episode of the Citadel Cafe, which is out. Both of those podcasts are available for free on your favorite podcasting platform. You can also find them on YouTube at the Spun Chunks and at the Citadel Cafe on YouTube. Super easy to find. Uh, I am also posting shorts now on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube and Joel.Duggan on TikTok. There's a link underneath my Twitch page. You can find links to my link tree and all my socials. Uh, I'm Joel Duggan most places, but TikTok, I had to put like a little dot between the Joel and the Duggan. And uh, I'm just posting clips from, from Twitch. So usually they're like funny stream stickers, that kind of thing. Uh, so you'll see that kind of stuff circulating around. It's a great way to share my stream with your friends. Just send them a quick short, send them a little TikTok video, like them, share them, try to get some traction. I'm trying to bring in some new eyeballs on the stream as well. So uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would share it around. Uh, and this is the end of my stream week because I am off on Sundays and then I'm not back until Tuesday because, of course, I record a podcast on Monday with, with Pixlris. So uh, I will be back on Tuesday with Satisfactory. And uh, thank you ever so much to Cosmic for moderating today, for Sweet Sandy for helping out with moderating all week long, and for the bits and the subs, the resubs. Always great to see a bunch of people coming in and um, for long swaths of time, 15 months, 40 months, uh, 17 months. It's just amazing to see uh, the regulars kicking around and uh, continuing to support the stream. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and also thank you for the bits uh, and the stream stickers. The TTS stream stickers are new. Uh, there should be uh, a we're now working stream sticker uh, section on the Minecraft stream. It was a little bit, um, not I wouldn't say buggy. There was a human error. I did not set it up correctly at the start of the stream. Uh, so thanks again to Cosmic for the heads up on that. It is now working. Uh, I really appreciate it, uh, especially when those kind of things are, are unbeknownst to me, you know, when they're not functioning correctly, it's always nice to be um, set in the right direction. Uh, but I will see you all on Tuesday. Uh, in the meantime, who are we going to raid? Let me just find... The next target. I mean, friend. Did I say? Did I say target? I mean, I mean, friend. <laughs> uh, who's the victim? Um, everybody's playing the satisfactory that I follow. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, there's like no one's playing Minecraft. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wow. Okay. Uh, looks like. Joe Hills is playing Minecraft. We'll send you over to Joe Hills. Joe Hills is a member of Hermitcraft. I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now. Have a good one.